Are you about to become a leader and have no idea what kind of government to have? Then unitary is the way to go. Unitary government is when one person of the central government holds the power. This is the best form of government for my family. A unitary government is fast and easy, so it's the best way to rule your country. It's a piece of cake. Hold on one second. Yeah, see, you just saw my commercial. Yeah, unitary government is a system which distributes power using one central authority. Hello, we're shooting a commercial here. Unitary is better than confederation or federal. It's faster than both of them combined. Unitary is speedy quick. There is just one negative, but it's just one. Sometimes you don't know others' needs. But other than that, um, it's the fastest. Like, it's totally the best way to go. That's what she says. Nobody asked for your opinion, Charlotte. Hey, my name is Cammie. Whatever. Well, Cammie, tell us how Unitary is the best way to go. Well, I guess Unitary is best because it's speedy quick and a piece of cake. Unitary's the way to go. I guess. Hush, Charlotte. It's Cammie. Confederation is the way to go. Call 877-5300. Confederation is a government system where countries voluntarily agree to share power. It's the best way because it's easier and everybody's equal. In a confederation, one person from each group comes together to make decisions together. However, there is one flaw. It takes them forever to agree. Hush! Sorry. Sometimes someone is too determined to have it their way, and so they sometimes come out on top. But that's okay, because it's still the best way to go. No, it's not. Golly, go away! Gertrude. Gertrude? Really? Uh, yeah. Do you have a better name? We're in a commercial. Don't argue. Whatever. Confederation is the way to go. Call 877 Oh, it's not. Federal is the way to go. Hush! Frederick, isn't federal the best way to go? No. You're supposed to say yes. Oh, um, yes. I'm taking over for Frederick now. Oh, by the way, my name is... What? Still Frederick. <sighs> a federal government system is a government system that divides power between one national central government and several smaller regional governments. Federal's the best way to go because everybody has a say. Yeah, but it takes a long time. It's not time for that yet. Tick -tock, tick -tock. Thank you, Frederick, for stating that negative, but that's the only one. Right, the only one, which proves that federal is the best form of government. No, it's not. I've had enough of you, Frederick. Democracy is the best way to go for government. A democratic government is a type of citizenship where the people get to vote. There are two kinds of democracies, presidential and parliamentary. In a presidential democracy, people vote directly for the president. Presidential democracy is the best form of democracy. In a presidential democracy, the president is both head of state and head of government. Wouldn't doing both be very tiring? <gasps> Maybe that's why Obama looks like he's 923. At the beginning he looked young, but now he's old and wrinkly. Maybe the best way to go is a parliamentary democracy. Yeah, in a parliamentary democracy, the people vote for the legislator who vote for the prime minister. They also vote for the president, who is the head of state, while the prime minister is the head of government. Margaret, which type of democracy do you think is better, presidential or parliamentary? Presidential, because then I can laugh at Obama's wrinkles. Well, that's not a very good reason. It is in my books. Well, it is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. But besides that, democracy is the best form of citizenship. Oligarchy, let's go. Hey, Pete. Why is oligarchy the best? I am the chicken translator. She says, because it's fast. Is that all? Yes. Geez, oligarchy isn't as good as I thought. <laughs> yes, it is. Don't tell me it's not the best. Okay, fine. It's the fastest, and that's all. That's better. But there is a downside. A group of people that are selfish take away the voting rights in an oligarchy citizenship. Shh, don't say anything. Now we have a guest speaker. Hi, my name's Anna Grace Rogers. In an oligarchic government, the people have no say. Thank you, Anna Grace. 
That's all for now. Remember, oligarchy is the best. Picture this. You're a dictator and you want to take away all of your citizens' rights. You want them to have zero voting rights and zero say in their government. You'd be ruling an autocracy, and that's the best way to go. I love an autocracy because it's so fast. And I love our dictator. He always knows what we want without asking us. So he doesn't even have to ask you? He just knows what you want? That's right. He's a superhero. Have you ever even heard of a democracy? No, what the heck is that? It's where the citizens actually get to vote about what happens in their country. That just seems like a lot of trouble. Yeah, but everybody gets a say. Wouldn't you love that? Um, I already get a say through mind powers. Hey, did you know that mind powers don't actually exist? Uh, yeah they do. And did you just go against my dictator? He will execute you. That's sweet of him. I know. Wouldn't you rather have a leader that wouldn't execute you when you did something wrong? Uh, no.